Robert Alexander here from the Networks team. I'll be giving you a brief introduction to the program. The idea behind Networks is to reduce the learning curve for algorithmic music composition. It's a tool that enables users to create musical compositions by building networks and interacting with them in real time. I think the best way to understand exactly how this works is to just see it in action. So here are a few examples of compositions I've created. <laughs> Now that you've seen a few examples of what the software can do, I'm going to back way up and just start with the basics. When you open Noteworks, you'll see a screen that looks like this. And Noteworks is written in Java, so it'll be the same whether you're on a Mac or a PC. The first thing we're going to look at is this menu bar along the bottom. It contains all the basic tools that you need to get rolling. To create a node, you can simply click on this icon with the musical note inside the circle and start clicking around on the canvas. You don't need to worry about putting a node in the wrong place or getting everything to look perfect right off the bat. You can always move things around with the hand grabber tool, that looks about right, but if I weren't happy with it, I could simply use the selection tool to highlight everything, and then go up to the top menu and select edit, delete selection. Alright, this time I'll take a slightly different approach. Let's say I want it to be a little less cluttered. I can make a 3x3 three three grid, then move down to the bottom and select the arrow tool. You can make a connection between any two nodes by clicking on the source node, dragging over to the target, and releasing. So I'll go ahead and connect all these, and if I wanted to listen to my composition now, I can click on this pointing hand and use it to fire any of these nodes. And you fire the node just by clicking on it. All right, so this isn't the most interesting composition. <laughs> it's just one note that repeats over and over. All right, so we can change that by using this menu over to the left. With the node selected, go into Note and set it to a new pitch, say D for this one, and E for this one, you can also change the octave in the menu here. There's actually a much quicker way to adjust pitches, and that is to use the center scroll wheel with a two-button mouse, or two-finger scrolling with a trackpad. You can just hover over the note you want to change, and then scroll to change the pitch. And you can also hold down shift and scroll to change octaves. And so it sounds like this. And that brings up an interesting point. There's actually a faster way to do everything that I've shown you, and that is to use hotkeys. If you hover over a tool for a second, you'll see the name pop up, and the underlined letter is the corresponding hotkey. You'll notice I'll be using these shortcuts from time to time. All right, on to the good stuff. This little node with a square represents a dice, and if you connect to multiple outputs, it will randomly choose one. If we use a pair of rest nodes, we can set up a network that looks like this, and we'll end up with a random series of notes that plays back forever. or until we press the spacebar to stop it. There's currently one other type of node, and to demonstrate that, I'm gonna pull up one of my pre-made compositions here. All right, this node here with the big E written on it, it's called an echo node. This will actually take the input from any node type and transpose it by a certain interval. You can also enact a volume change and adjust the delay time. I actually never mentioned that. If you want to change the duration of any note, you can do this in the timing tab by setting a duration in milliseconds. All right, now back to our chain of echo notes. If we listen to this now, we get a behavior that sounds like this. And here are some other sections. Alright, to wrap things up, I'll go ahead and play back this composition for a minute, and you can get a feel for how all these patterns interact.
this will play back for hours without repeating if you don't press the spacebar at some point. Thanks for watching our tutorial. We recently announced an open public beta test. If you want to be a part, simply follow the link on our blog at noteworks.wordpress.com. We can also read about how this all came together.